Hey guys, Jack here with Little Jack Plays. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Invictus Launch Week closed its doors. And with that, all the CCO Warcraft upgrades are gone. They're out of the store. Maybe not. Maybe you have to check it out. Maybe you can go and do some last minute shopping. But anyway, if you build a great chain like I did to the Polaris from your starter ship, hopefully an, an LDI token, you want to know how to apply those upgrades to your starter ship, right? So I will show you how to do that. It is a little bit complicated. So the first step, in my opinion, what you have to do is you have to print your chain so you have a guidance what to do, right? From what ship we go to the next one and so forth. I did that already with my chain. I will show you. I have a list here with all the upgrades I purchased over the last six, seven months and of course during the last couple of days and now I will go to the website and I will show you how to apply how I will apply those to my starter ship I think it's the Drake Cutter so you go to account um, you go to my hangar then you will go to find your first upgrade so first of all, what I do, I will just filter by upgrades. So I have all my upgrades in here. And then when I look here on my page, I have to go from the cutter to the Avenger Titan. So I have to find the Titan upgrade. So I will go to Titan. And there you go, I have the Avenger Titan to... No, oh, see, that's that's how it gets complicated. <laughs> no, you have to go from the Cutter to the Avenger Titan, right? Or I have to do that, not you. You might have to do the same, but your chain might look different and you might go to a different ship. So I'm going from the Avenger Titan to the Cutter. So I click on this here, on a little triangle, and then I do apply upgrade. All right, it asks me, you are about to apply your upgrade cutter to Avenger Titan Standard Edition. This will delete the upgrade from your account and apply the upgrade to your designated pledge. Replace cutter with Avenger Titan. Do I wanna do this? Yes. Please select the pledge on which to apply the upgrade to. I have only one cutter. If you have several, you will see here several cutters available and you choose the one you want. Hopefully the one with the LDI token. <laughs> so, okay, and then I click next. Then I have to type my password and then I do apply. The upgrade was successfully applied. Now, I need the one from the Titan to the C8R Pisces. So what I do is, I just go in here, C8R Pisces. And I do have the Avenger Titan, because we applied now from the Cutter to the Titan. Now we go from the Avenger Titan to the C8R Pisces. Apply upgrade. Next. Password. Done. Don't click again on apply. This will cause a, a huge issue, right? You have to be patient. You have to wait until that little circle thing is gone and you will be able to automatically go back to this page. You don't have to do anything. And then you search the next one, which in my case is the Pisces to the arrow. So I look up the arrow and here it is. C-A-R Pisces to arrow standard edition, right? Apply upgrade. So now we have to be careful, right? Please select the pledge on which to apply the upgrade to. 
See, now I'm confused. <laughs> so we have to go from the standalone ship cutter plus the Groundswell paint. That was one of the others. Um, so yeah, and then we go to Arrow. But this package here, that was one of my packages I bought last year, okay? So I'll do the standalone ship cutter plus crowns well paint. Next. Apply. All right, so this one is gone. Now we have to go from the arrow to the gladius. Arrow to Gladius. Warbond edition. There you go. Apply upgrade. There you go. Now we confirm. Same process. Apply. Okay, now from the Gladius to the Cutlass Black. So we put in Gladius to Cutlass Black Standard Edition. Apply Upgrade. And yep, next. There you go. Now, from the Cutlass Black to the Nova Tank, we put in Cutlass Black. This is this one. Oh, I have two actually. <laughs> um, that's because I did uh, plan on a second chain, which I will explain later. All right. Okay, so we are at the Nova tank, so we go from the Nova to the F7 Hornet. There you go. That's a really long chain, guys. <laughs> Next. And as you can see, it always says Cutter. That's because Cutter was our base ship and it will always give you this um, information and that's why it's sometimes confusing because you want to upgrade from, you know, the Nova tank to the Hornet Ghost, but it actually shows you the Cutter, so very important to know. All right. So now we at the Hornet Ghost F7C. Now we go to the ball Ballista. There you go. It's already here. Okay. Um, so we are at the Ballista, now we go from the Ballista to the Prospector. As you can see, I purchased this one a um, long time ago doing IAE, I think that was in October. Yep, I saved on this uh, for a long, long time. <laughs> And now, there you go. See, I have the merchant upgraded from the mule, but I want to go actually from the cutter, that's the new chain I built, to the Polaris. And there you have it. My chain is complete. I should have now the Polaris as a standalone ship in my hangar. So how do we check that? We click here and we do standalone ships. 
And I do not see the Polaris. Yes, I see the Polaris. It is here. Base pledge is basically the cutter. And I do own now the Polaris. That's it, guys. That's how you do it. Let's go quick to the CCU game app website. And let's uh, refresh my hanger on the website here. Yes, and the Polaris is here. And if you click on it, it's perfect. Um, one thing I have to say, um, the cutter is gone. It is my, it was my base pledge for the Polaris. I do own now the Polaris with uh, LTI. I saved $231, 31%. If I click on it, um, you can actually see what is now included. Uh, of course, I still have the groundswell paint for the cutter because that was an addition to the cutter. You will keep this and then you can see all the upgrade CCUs I used to build my chain up to the Polaris. We go back to my fleet and I take out the saved CCU chains. And as you can see, I do now have the Hammerhead as a loner and I should have the Vanguard Harbinger as well. Yes, it's here. And of course the Polaris as a concept ship. Hopefully it is coming out in the next year or so. That would be awesome. Uh, they said they are working on it and it kind of hyped me to get it finally. I love this concept. I love the ship. And so what was the other thing I did? In the last hours of Invictus launch week, I purchased all of the uh, CCO Warbond upgrades again because I found out that if I go from my STV to the Hull C, which I really want, I will save a ton of money, almost 40%. So I saved this chain here, the Polaris chain we can delete now or keep it up now for now, it's okay. But uh, as you can see here, I built a chain from the hull, uh, from the STV to the hull C, and the only thing missing is basically from the caterpillar to the hull C. But what I will do is I will wait a couple months now until the next events, and next offers in store, and maybe the hull C will be offered as a warbond edition once it's being released to uh, the live PD PU, and then I will basically finalize this chain and do my upgrading process again to own the Hull C. I'm very excited because I like the gameplay of transporting goods um, from A to B to C and make some money with that. So that is a great chain. It saves me a ton of money. I think I will save $130 and that is significant. So that's why I bought more of the CCU Warbone upgrades. Guys, I hope you liked this video, I uh, hope you learned something. If you have questions about this process, drop me a comment in the comment section below. If you like what I'm doing, if I'm helping you, if you enjoy my videos, please uh, consider to like and of course subscribe and you will get notifications. If you click the notification bell, um, once I uh, upload new videos uh, about Star Citizen, and uh, I would appreciate that. Again, thanks for watching and I see you in the verse. Be respectful.